The challenge with this new Suneto line was to make a product better that had a great success in the past. For these reasons, we renewed the design of the cabinets. We start over to make brand new drivers to make them sound better and look better. So for this new Soleto line, all of the drivers are new, including the tweeters that are all ferrite magnet, except for the center channel that has a neodymium magnet. They are all silk dome tweeters, but we probably designed the shape of this membrane in order to extend the high frequency reproduction. They all have some copper cap on the pole piece of the magnet in order to diminish the distortion and get some warmer and clearer sound. So we all have our classic DAD technology that is basically this arrow that is pointing on the apex of the dome in order to still extend the high frequency reproduction. The other four cone drivers are having this design patented technology on the basket that we call organic basket. It has many benefits. Uh, the first one is that it adds more stiffness to the structure of the driver. The second one is uh, acoustically speaking, it lets the cone uh, move more freely, uh, free of any perturbation and improve the airflow. So more than that, we also wanted to cure the design of a part that is uh, invisible from the outside of the speaker. So for our bookshelf speakers, so the Sonetto 1 and Sonetto 2, since they are front-ported loudspeakers, we had to take an importance of what was happening inside the speaker. I'm talking here about the internal resonances, and in fact, having the vent in front of the speaker has some benefits, such as a more uh, important bass reproduction, more impactful. Also, uh, we have to cure it very uh, cleverly. We have to take a big importance on the design of this part, since the vent can reproduce any artifact that is happening inside the loudspeaker system. So this is why we implemented on this speaker an internal that is an Helmholtz resonator on the vent itself. This was made in order to avoid or diminish as much as possible the resonances and wanted to be played through the duct. Regarding the design of the crossovers, we learned from what we did with the homage line of lot speakers and we implemented this phase coherence on the sonata line. What we did here is that more than taking into account only the frequency response of the driver, we look very closely to the phase relation between the drivers. What this means is the arrival time of each driver will be almost perfect to your ears and it will result in a bigger sound stage and the most homogeneous sound reproduction. All the Sonetto speakers have been designed in the design lab where I am now. The speakers are made in the main factory which is right across the street. We are located in Vicenza, North East Italy. All the speakers uh, here in Sonosfaber are built uh, by our people. People who love uh, the Sonosfaber products, uh, loves uh, our DNA because of its reliability, quality and performance. All the Sonetto speakers are built by multiple craft people and we do that uh, because uh, we want to improve our efficiency. We want to make sure that we don't miss any aspect of quality. And in case of floor standing speakers, it's safer to have more than one person. So we also implemented on this new Sonetto line three technologies that directly derives from the Suprema project. The first one is the cork chamber for the mid-range section. It is made of cork that has many benefits acoustically speaking. The first one is that it is naturally damped. Moreover, you can see that the internal shape of this chamber has been specifically studied in order to reduce as much as possible the problematic standing waves. Having chosen this material also allows us to play a lot with the design. As you can see, there is no straight edge inside this chamber, something that couldn't be done with traditional materials such as the wood. So these cork chambers are dedicated for the mid-range sections and will be applied on the Sonetto 5 and Sonetto 8. So at the first sight, you can also see that the mid-range of the Sonetto 5, 8 and center are derivating from the Suprema. So there are white paper cones, free of uh, any pigmentations, because we wanted to keep the cone as natural as possible. The cone is also light but stiff, and you can see that uh, the outer cut of this cone is quite particular. By cutting the edge of this cone in such a way, we reduce the circumferential mode of the driver, and this results in a bigger and a wider range of frequency for the linear part of this driver. So on the middle of each mid-range driver, you can see a face plug. They have been specifically designed for the Sonetto range, and they allow the drivers to behave more smoothly in and out of axis. You will also notice on the mid-range drivers that the surround are reversed. The goal of such a choice is that out of axis we won't have the interaction and then the interferences in between the movement of the cone and the surround. 
And finally, from the Suprema, you can also notice that all of the surrounds of the base drivers of the Soletto, so the midwoofers and the woofers, are having this Camellia pattern on the inner cut of them. The principle is exactly the same as the Mitri. It, it will decrease uh, the circumferential modes of the cone. I'm very excited and proud of uh, having succeeded to bring the technologies of our finest speaker system into a more affordable line of speakers. Uh, we can't wait for you to hear them.